Keep this in mind, dear brothers. Let every man be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. For a man's anger does not fulfill God's justice. Strip away all that is filthy, every vicious excess. Humbly welcome the word that has taken root in you with its power to save you. Act on this word. If all you do is listen to it, you are deceiving yourselves. A man who listens to God's word but does not put it into practice is like a man who looks into a mirror at the face he was born with. He looks at himself then goes off and promptly forgets what he looked like. There is, on the other hand, the man who peers into freedom's ideal law and abides by it. He is no forgetful listener, but one who carries out the law in practice. Blessed will this man be in whatever he does. In all that 
we do, let the name of the Lord be praised. For he surrounds his chosen people with boundless love. Let our prayer rise up to him. Remember your church, Lord. Keep her from every evil and let her grow to the fullness of your love. Let the nations recognize you as the one true God, and Jesus your Son as the Messiah whom you sent. Grant prosperity to our neighbors, give them life and happiness forever. especially in Asia and the Philippines, for the situation in Afghanistan, for our oblates, which are oblates, friends, benefactors, for our brothers preparing for ordination, for our brothers in Cebu who are also uh, sick with the virus, for All Souls Parish, for Notre Dame Parish. And thanksgiving for the data migration project, and for our benefactors. Thanksgiving for Paco's return. Blessings on him during this new year. Open wide the doors of your compassion to those who have died today. And in your mercy receive them into your kingdom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord, watch over us day and by night. In the midst of life's countless changes, strengthen us with your never-changing love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of August the 26th. The year of the Lord, 543, the heavenly birth of St. Caesarius, a monk of Lerans and later bishop of Arles, he became the advocate of the Gallo Roman population against the Franks. He also presided over important provincial councils and promoted monastic life by writing two rules in which he made a synthesis of the Egyptian and Augustinian tradition. In the year 270, the burial of St. Zephyrinus, Pope, he governed the Roman Church for 18 years with the help of his deacon Callistus and battled vigorously against the heretics who were threatening to divide the Christian community. The heavenly birth of St. Maria Jesus crucified. She was born near Nazareth, in 1846 from an Arab Christian family. Orphaned at two and then taken in by an uncle, she began to serve as a domestic in different families at a very early age. One of these families eventually took her to France when she was 17. 
1867, she entered the Carmel of Pope as a lay sister, but later she was sent to Bethlehem to help found the Carmel. The entire life of this young Carmelite was marked by extraordinary mystical phenomena. Pope Francis canonized her in Rome in 2015. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the book. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God, to despise not our petitions, petitions and our necessities, but to deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. The angel of the Lord declared unto me, and she shall receive God the Holy Spirit. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. And the word was made flesh. And the blood among us. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 